So recently, I've been doing a little bit of research on the Audi C8, A6, and A7 platform. After doing a little bit of digging, I think I might have found something that would prevent me from purchasing one of these cars. So I want to take the time to go into a little bit of a deep dive, show you guys a little bit of research, see if we can look at some of these technical topics, and you guys can make that decision for yourself. Before we get started, as always, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We've got an excellent library of automotive content. Your support is much appreciated. Now, let's just go ahead and establish a basic overview for this platform. For those of you guys that don't know, the C8 is the current generation for the Audi A6 as well as A7. Same thing with the S models with the S6 and S7. With the introduction of the C8 platform in 2019, that older 3.0-liter supercharged V6 is no more. The newer C8s now use a 3.0-liter V6 single turbocharged engine. Okay, so you guys may be wondering from a performance standpoint, you know, I'm not really that excited about an Audi A6 or an A7. Well, that makes sense. And that's typically because most of your people that are buying your A4s, your A5s, your A6, a lot of times these are people that they're just looking for a general luxury car. You know, they like the Quattro, they like the interior, they want the craftsmanship, the design that you get with a nice Audi vehicle. From the perspective of a performance enthusiast, I'm always interested in looking at some of these models because a lot of times they can present a great cost-effective alternative to some of the other performance model Audis. So the engine that you find in the C8, A6, A7 is of course very, very similar to the engine configuration you're gonna get from the B9, S4, and S5 Audis. Again, so we're dealing with that same three liter V6 single turbocharged engine, which if you've been following the B9 platform development for the past couple of years, we can definitely recognize that there's some pretty good aftermarket support, a lot of different bolt-on upgrades, a lot of companies developing tunes, putting out some pretty respectable numbers. But again, how does that translate to the Audi A6 and A7? Now, with that being said, there are a couple things that I do find interesting. Number one, as far as development for tuning software on the newer A6 and A7, at this point in time, at the recording of this video, it would appear really your only tuning solution right now seems to be APR Stage 1. Now you guys know APR has been in the Audi Volkswagen tuning game for many, many years. Definitely one of the largest companies out there as far as development for hardware and software upgrades for many different platforms. Definitely check them out. I've actually done two full APR Stage 3 Audi build series on this channel with the Audi A3 and also the Audi S6. So be sure to check those videos out if you haven't already. I've taken a look just to see if I could find any other options. Does not appear at this point in time that any other companies seem to offer tuning software for the C8, A6, or A7. I did take a look on the Unitronic website. Again, Unitronic is another fantastic tuning company, uh, which I use their tuning software actually on my Audi RS3, which if you haven't seen that series, playlist right up here. And you can just see they've got it listed as under development. So not sure any ETA, if we'll see any more information uh, from Unitronic on the A6, A7. But nevertheless, at this point in time, really seems like APR is about the only option. Now, I did a little bit of research and I want to get into where I think we might have some mechanical limitations that could possibly prohibit other developers from really investing time, money into R&D to be able to produce further tuning upgrades for these cars. Now, while browsing online, I came across a thread on an Audi forum, and this was basically looking back on when the C8 software came out from APR as far as their basic stage one tune. I'll be sure to leave a link down below if you wanna follow along on the Audi forum here. But basically, if you go ahead and read through all the conversation here, obviously APR introduced their software, saw some people kind of providing some feedback, sharing their experiences with the tune. You can see there's discussions surrounding the torque limitations within the gearbox, and you can see there have been some pretty major issues as far as people having faults and drivability concerns. Now, if you take a look at the APR response, you can see they've made a point that Audi has had some potential issues with defects within these gearboxes. Now, from my perspective as a car enthusiast on the internet, my position is nothing more than to read and observe, take a look at some of these sources of information to kind of formulate my own educated opinion and share it with you guys. So if you happen to be looking at one of these cars, 
you can kind of see if there's gonna be any limitations or concerns with these platforms. I know a lot of people are probably gonna chime in here and say, hey, you know what, that could be something related to the transmission tune or lack thereof, or maybe it's something to do with the APR engine tune. Now, based on reading through the dialogue here, my assessment, in my opinion, I would say this is probably gonna be more than likely an issue with the manufacturer when it comes to the actual transmissions themselves. It's kind of hard to speculate as far as like what happened, but uh, based on the dialogue, again, it really does appear that something about these gearboxes on the A6 and A7 seem to be having some issues. Now, of course, when it comes to tuning performance software, we're trying to get maximum horsepower and torque out of these vehicles. The more torque you add to the equation, the more it's going to uncover weaknesses within the drivetrain. So if it happens to be the case that, you know what, maybe there is some type of manufacturer defect with these transmissions, you know, you go ahead and add another 100, 150 foot pounds of torque, that's obviously going to very quickly uncover any weakness or flaw within the transmission. Now, the second thing I wanna get into here is looking at the market value of the C8A6. Now, I have noticed obviously the car market has started to really cool down for a number of different reasons, but realistically, I am very surprised to see the A6 come down as dramatically as it has. I feel like it was just recently I noticed that these cars were still well into the upper 30s, low to mid 40s for clean, low mileage A6s. We all know with Audis, you're always gonna pay a premium for a sport back, so we can expect the A7 to be quite a bit more expensive. But doing some research, I was really surprised to see a lot of fairly low mileage, like 2019 A6s, all the way down to like the low $20,000 price range. So I'm curious to know, are we gonna find that maybe at some point down the road there's gonna be a recall, or what is it that has caused these cars to devalue so aggressively? Leave a comment down below. If you guys happen to own a C8 platform, share your thoughts, share your feedback. I'm curious to know, is your car stock? Is it modified? If so, how is it holding up? So if you guys happen to be in the market, if you're looking at getting one of these cars, I would definitely take your time, do some research. You might want to wait things out a little bit just to see what the future holds. I used to own a C7 Audi S6. Obviously, there's a lot more complexity with the twin turbo V8 as opposed to the modern day three liter. So I'm well experienced as far as getting pretty deep into high mileage modified cars. So make sure you understand exactly what you're getting into before making a sizable investment. Let's hope for the best. Maybe there's a solution here. Maybe we'll see some further developments from other companies. At this point in time, it's kind of hard to speculate. Perhaps maybe at some point down the road, we'll find that maybe there is in fact a certain year range which was affected by a defect. But of course, let us all hope for the best for the Audi C8 platform. That's it for this one, guys. Make sure if you're going to be planning on upgrades, modifications, take your time, do your research, make sure you have as much information under your belt as possible. Leave a comment down below, guys. Subscribe for more. Stay tuned for more projects, more updates. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.